Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel, and uh, just wanted to talk about Windows Update for a second because um, I think there's a lot of problems that people think are Windows Update related, but um, they are not. And it has to do with you know the uh, people that often will come back to me saying that they can install updates, and um, they end up with an error message, rolls back, tries to install multiple times, and. Of course, you've got troubleshooters in there. You've got, uh, there's quite a few videos that I've posted on things you can do to try to fix. One of them, uh, clearing the um, Windows Update uh, cache area where uh, you delete a certain number of files. Uh, and they're all here on the channel. And um, But one of the things that is prevalent, and I've seen it over the years for Windows Updates, um, most of the time when Windows updates crash, there are a combination of things that do this. Um, it could be third-party antiviruses. It can happen that this creates an environment where Windows updates will crash. It could be, and it often is, un, um, you know, software that is completely useless installed. Cleaners like CCleaner, uh, you know, uh, RAM optimizers and all sorts of um, registry cleaners of all sorts. Anybody that uses any of these software, you know, it's no wonder you're going to have some problems and maybe Windows Update will crash and you'll have issues with your PC. These are all unnecessary crap that should never be installed and never be used. You don't need any of that. I get the constant uh, messages and, and comments of people saying, what are the tools that I have to download to clean my PC? There are no tools to download to clean your PC. There is no tool. Stop thinking you have to download something. Anybody that tells you, oh yeah, you need to have that cleaner, doesn't know what he's talking about. That's as simple as that. Um, and there are no cleaners. Leave Windows alone. It's very simple. All of these things make for some problem eventually. Either it's going to be blue screens, either it's going to be Windows Update crashes, that won't install, things like that. And last but not least, leave your PC alone when it's updating. People are too often uh, going to the fact that, especially on older PCs with standard hard drives, magnetic hard drives, takes much longer in these machines. And then they have an update, and um, that update seems to be stuck. Seems. I do say seems to be stuck. And why? One of the biggest problems with Windows Update is people stand in front of the computers and they click that check for update and they have that big update that installs and they're just standing there looking at their PC. And of course time does look like it's stalling and it's very long and they end up shutting down the PC in the middle of an update because they think that it's not working and in reality it is. So just leave it alone. You take a coffee, you go, you know, go to your favorite store and come back. <laughs> Um, these are all things that uh, end up messing up your Windows updates and your PC in general. The majority of PCs update very well. And it is true, and, you know, we, we got to admit, it is true that sometimes Microsoft messes up. But usually it doesn't mess up and your update doesn't work. Usually it just messes up and it created some issue with something. So, you know, just make sure that you're always connected, that you don't have any, you know, connectivity issues. Uh, like I said, anything third party, any cleaners of all sorts, these are all things that can create problems with Windows updates. So just be careful with that because when you have a PC that is, you, do, you leave it alone. You just use the basic standard security that comes with it, which is enough. I, tell, I say it all the time and you don't have any cleaners of any kind, you don't start messing around with any files and changing things around that in the registry and so on, you know what? Your PC in general runs well. There is a small subset of problems that could be, uh, you know, because of some sort of hardware failure or problem that can happen, but hardware failure is usually minimum. There's much more happening with you know, too many software being installed. The other thing is if you've installed and uninstalled, you know, dozens and dozens of software over time, 
you know what? It's not a cleaner that's going to help you. It's a clean install of Windows from scratch. That's going to help you. A cleaner won't help you. Stop worrying about files left behind. They don't even do a difference in Windows. Stop thinking about registry keys that are still in the registry because the uh, uninstall of a software didn't uninstall everything correctly. It doesn't matter. And using a cleaner is a way worse idea than leaving it alone. Like I said, the real cleaning that can be done in Windows is a clean install, search from scratch, usually works wonders. And your PC is going to come back way faster. But these are all things that make Windows Update crash or have problems. And usually 95% of everything Windows Update doesn't work well is created by the user itself that tried something that they shouldn't have tried, that installed all sorts of software that should not be there in the end. Uh, so if you are stuck with a machine that has Windows updates that just never work, it's time to reinstall. Something happened. If your cleaners don't work, not the cleaners, but if the, um, the Windows uh, troubleshooters don't work, and if cleaning the cache of the Windows update doesn't work, it's time to reinstall your operating system from scratch because maybe something is wrong could be some corrupt files somewhere it could be all sorts of things happening if you enjoy my videos please subscribe give us thumbs up thank you for watching